Love and compassion are the antidote to trauma and you can learn to harness the nervous system of another person who's grounded and shift the state of your own nervous system. This can be a powerful way to help with recovering from chronic and traumatic stress. This shift happens through the vagus nerve, through resonant circuits connecting in the brain and the body, and also through chemical processes happening in the body and brain, especially the release of the hormone oxytocin. We can understand this process more by looking at the three states of the nervous system, which would be a little bit like traffic lights. So in the green state, the vagus nerve is working well. You'll feel calm, centered, grounded, and balanced. And the social engagement system is active. So what we'll notice when we communicate with other people is that there's a lot of prosody or change in rhythm and pitch to the voice. Parents intuitively do this with babies. They bring co-regulation through shifting the sounds of their voice when they talk to their little one. We'll also see this in the expression in a person's face. So they might smile with their eyes and this sends messages that connection is safe. There'll be changes to the muscles of the middle ear so that we hear the sound of the human voice, which is mid frequency sounds. This makes it easy for talking and listening. And as reciprocity happens, this back and forth, it leads to connection and co-regulation, which creates a feedback loop between us and another person. We know that that hormonal release of oxytocin at the heart also brings us into a state of feeling calm and centered. So this connection is really a portal to helping us come back to feeling calm and centered if we've been in survival mode. As we face stresses, we then may shift into the yellow state. And this is our mobilization system. So we feel that increase in fight or flight energy where we might feel tension or heat through the shoulders and the arms. We might find it hard to switch off and relax or feel like we need to do something or take action. The social engagement system changes. So the voice loses that prosody and we may notice that the voice becomes monotone. Or we may hear somebody taking a lot of breaths after just a few words when they're feeling anxious. The expression in the upper face is lost. So somebody may smile with just their mouth. We also see that there's a change in the muscles of the middle ear. So rather than detecting those mid frequency sounds, which is the sound of the human voice, the muscles of the middle ear change so that we hear low frequency sounds, which from an evolutionary point of view would be the sounds that a predator would make, such as a snapping of a stick in the forest. All of this has been designed to help keep us safe and for our survival. The hormones that are released also change. So instead of oxytocin, adrenaline and cortisol are released. And the way that we connect with people when we've moved into this yellow state is not so much coming from that connection and co-regulation. We may find ourselves interrupting, we may criticize other people, we may find ourselves being angry, judgmental and reactive. If we can't deal with that stressor in the yellow state, then we move into the third state or the red state. And this is an immobilization system. So we may find ourselves freeze or become stuck and we lose that ability to communicate. The face becomes flat and we may not really hear what other people are saying. It becomes very difficult for connection in this state. We may find ourselves withdrawing and isolating from other people. We may find that we stonewall and we don't want to engage with other people at all. So connection and co-regulation can be a portal to help bring us back into that green state where the vagus nerve is working well. We know that following chronic and traumatic stress, the vagus nerve is interrupted in its job of regulating our nervous system and this takes its toll on our psychological and our physical health. If you'd like to learn more about the practices that bring co-regulation and self-regulation, I'll pop the details below this video of my upcoming trainings.